Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I am doing a first impressions on the Fatally Yours collection from Melt Cosmetics and Bailey Sarian. So if you, if you wanna see how I got this look and the long process to get here, <laughs> then keep on watching. I don't know if I'm just being tested right now or if it's just been so long since I sat down and filmed any content, but I am having the worst luck right now. So this is still a first impressions because I just, I mean, I just started using this palette like today and I went ahead and I like filmed my eye look and then I put on the glitter gel and it took off all everything I laid down. I got frustrated and I've, I've like decompressed. I wiped everything off. I had such high hopes for this and I am now like hoping that was a one-off and oof, I'm a little disappointed. But anyway. I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna try this again, and hopefully this time it goes as planned. If not, then then maybe things aren't good. I, I don't know. All right, so I went ahead and I primed my eyes with the Beauty Creation Color Base Primer in the shade Ballerina Girl. I bought this in November and I've really have been enjoying it and I got it from HEB. So it's $4.20. It does its job, I like it. So that is what I primed my eyes with. And now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this eyeshadow palette. So this is the Fatally Yours collection, uh, collection collaboration, collection and collaboration with Bailey Sarian. Now I was super excited when this got released and the reason why I'm only now just putting out a first impressions is because this is actually something I got for Christmas. I, I mean, I already knew I was getting it for Christmas, let's be honest, but I wasn't able to touch it until after Christmas. Well, until Christmas day. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. There are 12 mattes. Mine is falling apart. That's what I said, I'm having bad luck today. I opened up this palette and all the shades are crumbly as shit. So I don't know if it just got damaged during shipping or if everyone's is this crumbly, but um, the shade Cyanide is falling apart along with the shade Faso Jean. I don't know how if I'm saying that correctly or not, but I'm going to try again. So I'm going to start off with the shade Faso Jean, and I'm going to be putting that in my inner corner, bringing it to the center of my lid. I really like this dirty green shade. It is super pretty. And I don't know if I already mentioned this, but all of the shades in this palette are matte, but they're all matte and like super grungy. And I love a good all matte look. Now, of course, I got more than just this palette from this collection. So I really wanna play with the liners and the glitters as well, as long as everything goes well. But I was super excited to see this collaboration because I feel like the aesthetics of Melt mesh really well with the aesthetics of Bailey Sarian. And I, I love true crime. I watch a lot of true crime content and Bailey Sarian is one of the content creators of true crime that I do watch pretty consistently when she, when she posts, let's be honest. I'm not judging, I'm not consistent, but so I do watch her content and then I do enjoy other true crime um, content creators like Simon Whistler from The Casual Criminalist is like one of my other favorite YouTube channels to get true crime content from but I am a true crime, uh, I wouldn't say junkie, cause I go through phases where I watch a lot of true crime and then I watch a lot of conspiracy theories. Like I go back and forth between both. Oh, and like alien content. I love alien shit. So now I want to go into the shade Stray Sheen. I don't know, I cannot pronounce it, so I will be putting it on the screen. I'm gonna take that on a nice fluffy brush and this is the shade I'm gonna use in my outer corner. I'm gonna kinda just like, press it in and then I'm gonna buff it up where all that color is more pigmented on the outer corner but then as it goes up it's gonna be much softer. I think this is my broken brush. I just keep <laughs> forcing it back together. Honestly why am I so lazy? If I, I could just glue that back together. What is wrong with me? I could feel it wiggling as I'm like blending out my shadow. <sighs> I need a new brush. I do love both of these shades. There's also like this really pretty maroon in the palette, but it doesn't really go. I don't know, I might use that as my under eye. Oh, 
I like that shade as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean brush and kind of just buff out both of those shades. So everything's kind of not as harsh and a little bit softer where the shadow ends. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the shade lead and kind of just put it in the inner cor inner. I'm gonna put it in the outer corner inside of that stray sheen shade um, just to add a little bit more darkness to the to right there and then buff it into that blue green black shade i cannot say it so i probably could like look it up on my phone but i'm a little lazy now i'm not gonna lie i'm getting a little bit nervous because things were looking good when i filmed this the first time and then i went ahead and did the glitter gel and it was just it ruined everything so before i get into the glitter gel i'm actually gonna go ahead and use one of the gel liners and in here i have the shade nightshade which is going to be a purpley blue shade and it doesn't really go with what's on my eyes so i'm going to be going in with the black gel liner in the shade onyx so that is just a nice matte black okay I'm taking it on a liner brush and i'm gonna draw a nice wing on my lid not gonna lie i love how black and matte this liner is but it's so because i'm used to using a bristle tip liner like my favorite eyeliner to do wings is the huda beauty life liner quick and easy in the shade very vanta it is my absolute favorite liner of life to do a wing because it's so quick for me it is very black very matte i mean not as black and matte as this gel liner but it, the gel liner, it looks really nice, but it does take up so much time, you know? And then you also gotta kinda wait for it to dry down if you don't want it like the smudged look. And I personally like my wing to be clean and crisp. So that is obviously what I drew on my face. And I did clean it up a little bit with my primer. I usually have to clean up my liners up just a little bit, which is another reason why I do my base face last because I'll cover up all the mistakes I made. Now, I really want to put this glitter in between both of the shades I laid down. I tried this earlier and it ruined the entire look. So I'm hoping it doesn't happen twice in a row. I have two of the glitter gels. I have the shade Wisteria, which is purple with some gold bits in there. And then I have the shade Boom Slang, which is the more chartreuse -y green one the one that i want to use today you know what i'm going to look up on melt's website and at, see how they recommend application before i go ahead and just fuck it all up again they don't say how to apply it but it says pair with the tapered shadow brush which is just a brush that melt carries on their website but i'm looking right now so there's a bunch of five star reviews and then one star reviews so there's like no, no happy medium. Okay. I'm gonna put a shadow on underneath it. I'm just not gonna like put it directly on my eyelid. That might help a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade Fio Foss of Jean and mix it in with Ricin right here and connect all of that together just real quick. So I'm gonna start with Ricin. I'm gonna put a little bit here, buff it out, and then Fisogen and then blend it all together and then i'll put the shade boom slang on top of that because maybe before i was just putting on top of my skin and that's why i didn't sit properly because it wouldn't it wouldn't adhere to my skin it was very annoying so maybe i need to put some shadow on top of my primer to get this gel to adhere and stay put so the one star reviews are saying this because it burned so taking the gel I'm gonna take a small amount on my finger and I'm gonna just put it in the center of my lid. I am so hesitant to do this because it fucked up earlier. It, it, it's still doing what I did earlier. It's picking up the shadow. Okay, I'm gonna try with a flat detailing brush. I just realized I did this entire video and didn't zoom you in. Is it too late to zoom you in? That way you can get a better look at my eye. Okay, 
Okay, I'm now laying it down with a brush and it's working. So my recommendation for these glitter gels, oh, we gotta let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry in between application. My recommendation for these glitter gels is one, slow and steady definitely wins the race here. But also, don't use your finger apparently. I felt like this was like one of those products you'd wanna use your finger. But I guess using my finger and like pulling away from the skin is what pulled the shadow off the first time. But I mean, this time I'm also just really taking my time because I don't want it to fuck up again. It's still kind of tacky, so I'm gonna keep, I'm like scared to fuck it up because, you know, I don't wanna redo this. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this to my other eye and then I will come back and finish up all my makeup and hopefully as I'm finishing up my makeup, I will come to a conclusion about what I think. And I'm sure you can tell, I, I'm disappointed. I don't know, I don't know how I feel yet. Okay, so you're gonna notice that I look a little different. And the reason is, is because the glitter was frustrating me. So I took it off and I went ahead and replicated basically, it is the exact same look just without the glitter. So it's there. I've also done the rest of my face and I have a Starbucks so I feel much better, <laughs> okay? The frustration that I was having earlier I think is gone. But now I don't feel as frustrated. Like I sat down, relaxed, enjoyed my Starbucks, did the rest of my face, watched some Real Housewives of Salt Lake City like podcast because you know the finale was on Tuesday and that was its own thing. So I just relaxed a little bit, frustration's gone. Anyway, so I'm gonna do the under eyes now. And what I wanna do for the under eyes is play with the shade Saren, which is that burgundy shade I was talking about earlier that I think is absolutely gorgeous. I'm about to get my nails done tomorrow, like redone, because she needs a fill. And I've been looking up different burgundy nail designs and like seeing this shade in this palette is just like proving that that is the color that I need to do my nails tomorrow. So I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the center of my eye and work towards the outer corner because in the outer corner, I'm gonna lay down the shade lead, which is the black in the palette. Now I like to lay down like in a line, like heavily pack the shadow to do my under eyes. And then when I'm done with laying down all the colors I'm gonna use, I use a clean fluffy brush to just kind of buff it like a windshield wiper, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm taking the black, which is the shade lead, pressing it in the outer corner. I'm gonna take that Saran shade, Saran, and press that towards the inner corner. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and use the cyanide shade, because I feel like that cyanide shade would blend Saren and Foso Jean together nicely. Gosh, I really wish these shades were ones I could pronounce. I could pronounce arsenic, cyanide, thallium, mercury, and after that, it gets um, a little bit more difficult. But that one's more of a mustard yellow, so it will blend nicely with the burgundy shade, but also blend nicely with that deep, dark, chartreuse shade. Okay, so I'm gonna buff it out with a fluffy brush starting from the inner corner working my way out. So that under eye is complete. I feel like my eyes look so much better now that I've done my under eyes. And now that I have calmed down, I'm actually gonna try to do the glitter one more time. Even, gosh, I hope it's not the death of me. But I'm not gonna do as much as I did earlier. So here's the Boom Slang glitter again. What I've learned earlier is not to use my finger. So I'm gonna take this flat detailing brush pick up a very small amount of this glitter and I'm just gonna lay the glitter down slowly. So I'm trying this again. Gosh, you know, sometimes I question my sanity because you would think, oh, don't do it again. I'm gonna do it again. much happier with the way that this went this time. It looks really nicely on my eyes. It's comfortable. I, I took my time and I'm just happier 
with the way the glitter applies. So I guess apparently the third time's the charm. Okay, this is my final look. I went ahead and added a deep brown lippy because I did not get the Bailey Sarian Milk Cosmetics lippies. And that is because I have enough lip products and I need to declutter some of my lip products before I go ahead and purchase more. So I end up using from Fenty Beauty is their Velvet. These are like the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Breadwinner. So nice deep dark brown that has a beautiful velvet finish. I love it. Now, I could have done without these. Even though I finally got to a spot where I'm happy with the look, I'm not happy with how long it took to get there. These, well I didn't try the Wisteria one, but I did try the Boom Sling one. This glitter gave me a lot of hell today. And I will continue to try it, but as of right now, I'm not very happy with it. And I would not get glitter gels again from Melt Cosmetics, but that's just my personal choice. And then the liners are great. I like the pigmentation behind the black liner. The problem is it, it's, it's easier for me to use a bristle tip, but then I do like how deep and black it got. So, but they're not my favorite products of today. My favorite product is the eyeshadow palette. I absolutely loved everything about this palette from the color story to the pigmentation of the colors and the way all the colors blended and that they all complemented each other really nicely. But I'm very happy to own this and I see myself picking this up often. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I do have my first declutter going up tomorrow, so go ahead and turn on the bell to get notified of that. But until next time, bye y'all.